Okay, it looks like we're doing Winner's Finals right away. Never mind. We are, in fact, going straight to Winner's Finals. And when that's up, then we will have that. Let's just... Let's go do that then, I suppose. I'll still have a brief intermission just for the sake of having the... Of having the way to break out the video, but yeah. Be back in a sec. Welcome back, not the fans. We have the winner of the starting up pretty soon. Kmar and Daniil Kalina on Torn Islands Remake. Yes, it is, in fact, the map we're going to be playing on. And Lego Man Common Player currently going on. Vanishad Delayful will be going on as well pretty soon. And we'll catch up with that at the Losers Finals. This is best of one, by the way. Grand Finals are the only ones that are best of three. Everything else is best of one. And this game is just about to get started, Kmar. Go over to the north, I need to rearrange this. So actually get their factories when they start building them. Kmar over to the north as core. While we have Daniel Kalina over to the south as arm. So we need to see we have seen what Kmar does. Kmar very much likes to go for relatively relatively quick-ish openings. Actually, no, sorry, it was economical openings, go to relatively economical openings, well Daniel tends to go for the quicker openings. Doesn't look like it's going to be that quick, though. Actually, yeah, it's so far just four or five metal, two energy, probably a factory right after that. Well, Kmar, on the other hand, oh yeah, this is economical, all right. Six and six before a factory is even built, and it will be a K-Bot factory right off the bat. That'll be the very first factory built. But that'll be quite a ways in, and Kmar is going to be relying on their tower to defend them in the meantime. And this map, I have not really seen this map. Pretty simple map. I mean, you're kind of... Now, there's one choke point funneling between, and of course there's the water. Water operates as water, if you're playing as hover. Or using the hover factory, not playing as hover, because not as quite not quite that dedicated to his factory choice early in the game. But anyway, Daniil right now is 8.9 metal camera to 10.5, so it's even metal. Pretty even. While Kmar, like I said, still just building up. Will be another few metal extractors before that's done. Nice tractor, then four more power plants, then a cable factory, then building up everything else, and probably building another factory out on top of that. Probably a hovercraft factory, given this map. Wait, hang on a sec. No, I am calling that. I am calling that. The hovercraft factory will be not in the cards apparently. Although we'll see if it looks like no. Daniel's also going for a cable factory. Both players going for land first. Daniel getting that cable factory up first. Not that much quicker, though. Be one power plant away, and then the K-Bot Factory will be coming up for Kmar as well. So both players now getting that K-Bot Factory up. Yeah, K-Bot Lab for both of them. And from there, Daniil going for not quite as strong of an economy as Kmar. Well, okay, Kmar is going for more of a centralized economy. Possibly a bit easier to knock out with splash damage, but more defensible as well. 
while Daniil is going for much less centralized, building soldiers around... I'm not sure why Daniil is doing this. There's no overdrive or anything in Nada. There's no reason to have solar collectors in anything other than a big box. But for whatever reason, Daniil decided not to do that. I guess they're worried about splash damage. So right off the bat, we have... Oops. Need to... Oh, damn it. I wish it wouldn't happen. But anyway, right off the bat, we have coming in Sprintress and Hammer. So, despite the fact that Daniil got their factory up first, they're going for a slightly more defensive play. Early Hammer, not even early Rocco, just early Hammer. Which will probably help against the Sprintress. It will be able to probably hit them as they're moving around. But we'll see. I'm not entirely confident at that. The first Sprintress is just coming in here, knocking down the trees, and will be actually able to dodge pretty effectively. Yeah, it's having no problems whatsoever playing playing dodge shot. Even against four of these guys. It's like Yeah, dodge plasma ball. Apparently an easier sport than it looks. And another sprinter's coming in here with the first one only at half health. That after killing a hammer too, I mean at this point it is a bit yeah, it's 83 metal for the hammer, 110 for the sprinters. But even then, at this point, the sprinters are doing a really good job just staying alive, taking out the hammers, although not focus fire. Oh, yeah, this stage focus firing is a good idea. Not doing that, but Kmar just getting more sprinters up, and these are definitely winning the fight. Except not in the numbers fight. Not the numbers fight at all. The hammers are being built up in larger numbers. The sprinters are going to have a harder time dealing with that directly. However, we, stu we still continue to see sprinters being built up, and we don't see hammers being built up. Sorry, we continue to see hammers as well. Both players just sticking to what they have done so far, and the hammers have worked. Daniil Kalina given a chance to just rest. The harassment was laid off. I'm a little bit surprised, actually, that there wasn't a stronger attack. And at this point, radar does exist for Kmar and Kmar alone. Daniil does not have radar. Daniil does have about the same economy as well, by the way. 20 metal to 21 for Kmar. And Kmar is going... I'm still surprised. Okay, now it's too late. The the hammers are taking the choke point. But before that happened, I'm a bit surprised that Kmar didn't just try to go round, take out the middle extractors, and just completely shut down Daniil's economy. Like, slowing them completely, causing the factory to just stall out eventually, and winning that way. But it looks like we're going to be seeing instead Necros into more Sprinterists, while Hammers is starting to get replaced up by Rockos, and Infiltrator as well. Infiltrator will be coming up, which will be interesting. But yeah, as the numbers increase, the Sprinter is going to have a harder time dodging. And the hammer's gonna have an easier time just saturating the area, killing off one sprinter at a time. So this is rather tricky to pull off. Like sprinter sprinter fight that we saw in that first game is not gonna be coming up this game. This is going to be pretty much the hammers winning as time goes on. Hammers and Rocco is actually gonna be winning as the time goes on. As more and more sprinters are built, as more and more units are built. Especially given the cost difference. Especially, especially given that there's a necro coming up. Or sorry, not a necro, a voyeur. Mobile Radar. Okay, my mistake. Necro is behind that. The Voyeur having just been built. Not entirely sure why there is that there. I mean, sorry, that's a marquee coming in for Daniil. But the Voyeur here, I don't know why that's really necessary, but it is. And I guess it's just how it's going to be played. And a second K-Bot factory being built up for Kmar. Wants to get a more Sprinterist probably because... Like I said before, in terms of numbers, the Sprinters are having a disadvantage. At numbers, they don't work as well. I'm still surprised the Sprinters are being focused on. I'm surprised it's not like Sturm or, or Thud or maybe AK even. Pyro might be a little bit extreme. I don't think Pyro is the best idea, but it might actually work. But nope. Sprinters, however, are still not dying. They're dodging pretty well. But hits coming in here and there. And the thing with numbers is that enough hits come in and there's no way the Sprinters can really effectively dodge that. And they can't deal the damage quickly enough to get rid of the Hammers and Rockos if they try to just rush in. And at max range, the Hammers and Rockos have a much higher max range as it is. The Sprinters have really no easy way in, but it doesn't matter. We're still... We're still seeing the Sprinters... We're, actually, no, we're seeing AKs instead. Sprinters are being phased out for AKs instead. And a second K-Bot factory for Daniil. Just starting. It's being built up while the Infiltrator is now being constructed. Keep your eye on that one. Or, is it? No, apparently that's actually inaccurate to what's happening. Okay, so apparently this this queue isn't the most accurate to what's actually happening at the moment. Gives you a good idea of what's happening in general, but not specifically what's exactly happening. And anyway, it looks like Daniil Kalina has much healthier energy economy. Two factories are 
However, going to start taking Daniil down a bit. Peewees are being built up, and Daniil is starting to feel the pinch on energy as well. But now a nice flank coming in here for Kmar. This, this might get rid of it. It will at least push stuff back. The flank is kind of falling apart, though. The AK is doing a good job, though, where the sprinters couldn't with the extra damage. But even then, they are going down pretty quickly. Making up a big reclaim wall, which whoever claims that is probably going to win the game. Now, the economies have been pretty much neck and neck. Daniil is slightly behind, in fact. Daniil is behind by about 7 metal. Kmar is pulling ahead, but the choice of sprinteress, the, the mass sprinteress choice, I don't agree with that. And I think that's really losing them the game. Whereas Daniil has these infiltrators, which are not sure exactly what they do. I think they just deal a huge amount of damage. They decloak, deal a huge amount of damage in one go. I mean, not decloak. They don't decloak. You just can't target them automatically. But that didn't do anything. It doesn't really matter, though, because the AKs and sprinters are not working out well. Actually, just sprinters. Once again, I don't think Sprintress is the best option. They do not really have the damage needed. Yeah, like 37 DPS compared to... Oh, 36 in the AK. And Sprintress have more HP. Okay, so I guess the Sprintress... It's really a matter of numbers, then. Because the AK are... AKs are much cheaper. The AKs cost 44 metal, while Sprintress costs 110. Yeah, AKs are probably the better option in terms of how much you can get of them. Just deal with this. But now with the Peewees coming in, I don't... I don't know. Daniil is pushing in quite hard. While there is a laser tower to deal with this, I don't see Kmar really picking the right units. And a third K-Bot factory? Am I see I'm seeing that right. There's a third K-Bot fa No, no, no. That's not K-Bot. That's vehicles. My mistake. No, Hovercraft. Okay. Well, Scrubber coming in. Probably not like what was called the Scrubber in 0K and now called the Dagger, but still... Scrubber is coming in, and another flank is incoming with the K-Bots, but not quite enough. The laser tower does go down, and these flanking K-Bots, Sprinters on the side, are doing a decent amount of damage, and the AKs are not being focused on getting rid of one of the Farks I was trying to reclaim, and nicely getting the flank here. So the Sprinters being heavily targeted, but the AKs able to get rid of a lot of the units from behind. However, the Peewees running interference and stopping the AKs from killing everything. But that still pushes Daniil's forces back once again quite a lot, and Daniil... Daniil's still behind on metal, by about 7 metal. However, that... That spy did his job. So it's EMP, that's what it is. Massive EMP attack. The Infiltrator... Basically kind of like the Spider Lab one, actually, except not to a single target. But that one goes down, and we do have Thuds being built. So we do have a change in the main focus. I mean, mostly still Sprinterous, but at least there are some Thuds, which will somewhat even the field. Deal with the whole numbers advantage, actually make it work in Kmar's favor. Now, Daniil in their main base, they have gone for two K-Bot factories. They have gone for a lot of power. And at this point, they are a bit... They're still behind economically. Five metal behind, not a huge deal. At this point, they could probably support another factory, both of them. Well, no, not, not Kmar, but Daniil could, I think. However, Daniil is, looks like they're just building up to try to even more safely support that factory. And they just don't have enough metal, that's the thing. Actually, there's a the scrubber coming along here to harass out. Which will run into a Fark, killing that Fark, and the center of the map... Daniil cannot break in anymore. There has basically been a complete stop to that, and no, looks like the Scrubbers are more like darts. The zero-k darts. But at the same time, this center force getting destroyed, and the south... Scrubber coming in to get rid of a Fark, and get rid of the metal extractors, and ultimately just try to get rid of everything. However, that is an arm tower, so it doesn't need line of sight in order to hit. It's just a giant flying missile. Still doesn't really matter. It's not going to get close enough. And now at this point, Kmar is very nearly broken through Daniil's lines. Daniil does have, well, does have more metal in storage. Kmar does not, but the productions are about the same. The production rate is about the same. And Kmar, okay, once they find this field of metal extractors, it's going to be Christmas for them. And another set of scrubbers coming in here. The four scrubbers coming along here just harass that out. And a hovercraft factory. Yeah, Hovercraft Platform is coming in for Daniil. A little bit late, though. Now, looks like these thuds being supported now by an Immolator. A little bit surprising at that. Th What's the Immolator range? Okay, the Immolator range is 560. So yeah, it's doing a very good job with its burning everything death death plasma to basically stop anything going through. And the Sprinters are going for a flank. At the same time, Scrubber's going for the other flank. 
And the scrubbers in the back. There we go. Christmas has come for Kmart scrubber taking out these metal extractors. And these other scrubbers as well taking out what they can. And more harassment coming in. I think Kmart's going to take this because of the harassment. Daniil has very few prospects in this game. Very little Daniil can do. Very little Daniil has in their base. And Kmart coming in with the scrubbers. The missiles will be a bit of a problem, but not much. Not for getting rid of these solar collectors, at least. And the main force still taking a lot of damage. And the scrubbers, another set of scrubbers coming in here. Even stronger harassment. So this harassment over the northwest. The, well, the northwest of that island. Or peninsula, rather. The part of the island. Southeast of the base. And this whole area is getting harassed out. The missiles finally coming in for defense. Which will be able to take out a scrubber in two hits, I think. Yeah, yeah it looks like about two, actually three hits. Which is not enough. Because these solar collectors are going down. This is going down. I think the main tower is going to go down pretty quick, too. And these guys just, they're harassing everything on the way to the main tower, but there's only 14 metal left. Not much can be built in time. Hammers are trying to come in to deal with these scrubbers, but the scrubbers are going after the tower, and once they start targeting the tower, I think it's not going to be game. Not quite yet. But it is close, and that will at least be a lot of damage. 14,000 health left. Well, let's say 11,000 health left at this point. Scrubbers are actually dealing with this pretty well, but focus more on harassment, as they should be, because really, that tower is not likely to go down, but the metal extractors very much are. And at this point, the factory being reclaimed in order to get the metal back, so that Daniil does not run completely out of metal. While at the same time, the center is starting to be broken. I mean, there's enough units here probably to break that center. Kmart's just not focusing on it, just playing defense in that section. Focus much more on these scrubbers, focus much more on, at least, was dealing damage to the tower, now just dealing damage to everything around. Keeping Kmart down three times the metal, by the way, for Kmart right now. And this this area here, as the factory gets reclaimed, well, partially reclaimed, it can still operate when it's not fully built. But the factory is getting reclaimed, and now here comes the break. Kmart breaks that main choke point, coming in to take out the factories, and that's game. Self destruct from K. Sorry, well, self destruct from Daniil. No, no GG, just complete self destruct. Daniil loses out in the winner's finals. That gives Kmar. The win Kmar will move on to the grand finals against the winner of... Okay, common player, one against Lego Man. Common player, whoever wins between Vanishon and Leffel will fight you, and that will be our next game to cast. Then after that will be the loser's finals. Winner of that against Daniil Kalina. And then whoever wins that will fight against Kmar in a best of three to win the entire tournament. So not sure what's going on where the match is. Okay, Vanishon and Leffel is still going on. So once that's done, where is the next game? I don't know who's lobby. Okay, so once that's once Vanisha and Leffel are done, I don't know when that'll be, but it's a good time for me to go out and get something to eat. Not out too far, just other side of the room. Get something to eat, and then we'll be back with the next game when that starts up. So I will be back shortly. Just enjoy the intermission music.